What's up guys, I'm Random Frank P, back with episode 69 of Room Tour Project, the series where we show off the best gaming setups. Our special guest is going to be your average consumer, and I am really, really pumped to have him on today. He's been making some killer setups lately, it's going to be really great to check that out firsthand. And as always, we have just a ton of really awesome ones to show off. So let's begin episode 69. First off is this ridiculously awesome orange Star Wars themed gaming setup. And it's stuff like this that really inspire the series because this is just so unique and badass looking. From the orange LEDs behind his desk to the matching wallpaper, his custom painted PC case, certain peripheral accents like the keycaps on his keyboard, and that stormtrooper on the left side of his desk all makes for a killer setup. Taking a closer look, his monitor is the Dell 2713HM. At 2560x1440p resolution, he'll be getting some great use out of this for gaming. Then taking a look at his peripherals, his keyboard is the CM Storm 10 Keyless Quickfire Rapid, and he's using custom painted orange keycaps to help accent his setup's theme. Coupled with that is his Myonix Caster Mouse with an orange LED, and he's using a Zowie Mouse Bungee on the Corsair MM200 Extended Mouse Pad. Then as for audio, on each side of his monitor, he has the Audio Engine A5 Plus speakers, powered by the D1 amp and DAC. And getting a really cool use out of that orange clone trooper here, which he said is very limited, they only make 800 of them in the world. He's using that as a headphone stand for his HyperX Cloud headset, which also appears to be custom painted in orange. And what I like are the little things, like under his monitor, he has three Star Wars mini pop figures there. Definitely adds some personality to an already unique looking setup. Now we'll take a look at his gaming rig on the right side of his desk, and inside his Corsair 780T case, which of course is custom painted, he has an i7 4790K CPU with the Corsair H110i liquid cooler, that's on an ASRock Z97 Extreme 4 motherboard, and an MSI GTX 980Ti Lightning GPU. Things like the yellow accent on the graphics card and the yellow braided cables for the CPU power definitely help it stand out, but that nice contrast with the blue LEDs and his blue braided cables for his graphics card and the motherboard look awesome. A very clean build. Then a quick look at the overall room, once again you can see he has a massive 4K OLED TV off to the right side. There's an LG 55 inch TV, which is also hooked up to his PC so he can play some games like The Witcher 3 right now. So if you want, you can just chill in the chair, use a controller, and have a good time. This setup just has it all, the personality, the aesthetic, and I just love that nice Star Wars theme that goes the extra mile by adding things like some posters on the wall, his custom painted keycaps to match his color theme, he had the little mini pop figures under his monitor, BB-8 right by his side as well, and of course that really sick bust of the clone trooper on his desk really is just insane. I can't stress enough how amazing this setup is. Now we have a nice wooden setup theme from Jacob. This one is much more simple and natural if you will, but still looks great with that solo monitor option of the ultra wide Acer Predator. The model is the X34, it is 100Hz, which is awesome for gaming, and at 3440x1440p, this is definitely top of the line. Taking a look at his peripherals, he has the Cooler Master CM Storm Quick Fire Rapid Gaming Keyboard, that's two back to back, and his mouse is the Logitech G502. Definitely a solid choice. That's also on the Corsair MM200 extended mouse pad. Off to the sides, you can see his Audio Engine HD6 speakers. They're in a nice deep cherry finish here, which looks nice against the light wooden desk. Its wooden construction just looks great with this setup. Powering that again is the Audio Engine D1. And underneath the one speaker, you can spot his headphones. There's a Sennheiser HD598. These are extremely popular and are incredible for that price point. I promise you that. While I'm not the biggest fan of their color, it again definitely helps fit in with his setup's theme. Then underneath his desk, we have his PC. Not only is this for gaming, but he uses it a lot for things like programming and also photography editing. But inside the Fantex M2 Evolve Mini ITX case is an i7-4790K with a Corsair H80i CPU cooler, 16 gigs of Corsair Vengeance RAM, that's all on an Asus Z87i Deluxe ITX motherboard, and we have an Asus GTX 1080 ROG Strix GPU. And while we don't have a lot of the internals really pictured, keeping the entire PC cool are a ton of the Noctua NF-F12 fans. Altogether, this is definitely nice. It's much more simple, down to earth, literally very natural. That's what I like about it. Got the guitar right by your side. And even something like the uh, speakers are matching the color of your curtains, which is probably not intentional, but it still looks good. So I'm really liking it. Got some high quality stuff here. And if I wasn't liking it enough already, 
Now my heart's officially melted. Your puppy's mad cute. Up next is Brian with this really nice triple monitor setup that is actually Superman themed now. So first we had Star Wars, now we're going with Superman. And while initially you might just think that's because of the prints he has on his wall, there's definitely more to it. Taking a look at his gear, making up that triple monitor setup is the Dell U3415W in the middle and he has the Dell S2415H monitor on the sides. The main difference here is that center monitor is a curved ultra wide at 3440x1440p. And I've been seeing a lot more of this monitor orientation lately with the two vertical monitors on each side of the normal horizontal one. Now for his peripherals amongst other things on his desk, I do like those uh, the blue, yellow, and red planters there with the little succulents on the inside. He has the Razer Black Widow Chroma keyboard with the Razer Mamba Chroma 2016 mouse. And continuing that Razer trend, he has the Razer Firefly sitting on top of a Razer gaming pad. And he's also rocking the Razer Tiamat 7.1 headset, along with his Razer Man of War headset. I think his favorite company's Corsair. Behind his desk, he also has a nice RGB light strip for some extra backlighting. And behind his monitors, he has the Creative Inspire T6300 surround speakers. And under his desk, you can get a quick peek. Cable management seems to be on point. Nothing is hanging down or anything. It's all tidy in the like IKEA Signum-like thing there. So good job keeping that all organized. Now we're gonna take a look at his custom water-cooled PC. And this is where his setup rises to a whole new level. This rig just looks awesome. His case is the NZXT S340, and inside he has an i7-4790K, and his GPU is the Sapphire RX 290X in Crossfire. But obviously the whole visual factor here is just how nice it looks. That like powdered yellow coupled with the baby blue and the braided cables and some more accents along your graphics card looks really, really nice. And that little Superman sticker on the reservoir is a nice touch. Now he did note that the water cooling job is not properly done, he's unhappy with it. He is going to redo it. I'd love to see what you do with your new rig. Altogether, Brian, you have a really nice setup going on. You said you don't have a lot of space to work with, so you definitely made the most out of that by using the two vertical monitors on the outside. And that nice blue Superman theme you have going on looks really cool. Then we have a really nice custom gaming setup here that goes along with a wooden, white, and teal theme. And I say custom because the entire desk and drawer unit is all custom made. Taking a look at the monitors, I like how it's set up. His primary display is the Dell U2715H. Again, we saw this already with it being 1340x1440p. And on each side of that, he has two 17-inch Ezio monitors. So while that might not be entirely useful for something like gaming, it's nice to have the extra screen real estate where you can throw up like Spotify, Twitter, anything like that. As for his peripherals, he's using a Canyon backlit keyboard with the Logitech Performance MX mouse on a Corsair G240 V2 mouse pad. And as for audio, he's rocking the Logitech Z333 speakers. And you already know I'm digging the plant. Now again, this custom made desk is really impressive looking. They did a really great job on that all around. You got a lot of support underneath and again with the Ikea Signum, you got your cable management job locked down, nothing is on the floor. Then off to the right side of his desk is that PC. We have the white S340 case from NZXT and I like how you added your actual branding to the front of it. It's kind of like what I did with my old H440. The logo is for his photography company, which is more specifically he does a lot of wedding photography. So it's cool to have that logo there, gotta represent. Inside is the Intel i7-5820K CPU with a Zalman cooler, 16 gigs of ballistics RAM, and a Windforce 960 here from Gigabyte. This is a very clean looking build here with it being primarily black and white. And with that RGB light strip on the inside, it's gonna help accent the white components and the white cables to really add some more color. It's gonna match your, I guess your teal theme, which is pretty cool. So a great DIY setup here. Nothing makes me happier than seeing some stuff that is custom made like this. And that's just a great desk. And your white teal and wooden theme looks pretty sick. What's going on guys, it's your average consumer and I am glad that I finally have a setup that I think is worth being on a room tour project. So huge shout out to Frank for having me on. Now this setup is a big part of what I call the ultimate gamer's paradise. And if you guys can't tell just by looking at it, teal's a pretty dominant color to the theme that we've got going here. And to be honest, this is my first attempt at creating any kind of battle station. So I had to make sure everything was gaming ready. First things first, we've got a motorized standing desk from Next Desk, and with this, I have full control of the height of my setup, so I can stand or sit here whenever I want. The giant monitors you're looking at are the Acer Predator X34s, which are great monitors for gaming since they have NVIDIA G-Sync, and since these are all ultra-wide displays, I can have a pretty immersive experience, so I can game on one screen while using the others to take care of some other tasks. 
And I can even game on all three if I wanna disconnect and really take that immersive experience to the next level. In back of the monitors, I have some RGB lighting to keep the theme going, and you'll also find some RGB lights within all of my peripherals. The keyboard I'm using here is the SteelSeries Apex M800, which has tons of lighting options, but I keep it pretty simple with the teal backlit keys, which turn orange with every keystroke. I've also got the SteelSeries Rival 700 mouse, which follows the same color scheme, is super comfortable, and even has a pretty cool screen that can show my logo on the side. Underneath that, I have the Razer Firefly mouse pad, which is a pretty awesome mouse pad and even has a slight glow on the sides to match the rest of the gear. And on the right of that, we've got Google Home, and you know I have to switch out the base, but this is nice to have when I'm in the middle of something and I need to ask a quick question, it's right there to answer me. And over here, we've got the Oculus Rift for some VR. And I went with the Oculus Rift because it doesn't require a massive space to enjoy it. Now you can't do gaming without pretty sick sound. So in the back, I've got the Audio Engine A5 Plus and the A8 subwoofer to complement it. The sound you get from these is just crazy, ludicrous, and I love it. But when I'm not trying to disrupt the wife, I gotta throw on these guys. These are the Logitech 933 Artemis Spectrums. They're super comfortable, wireless, and provide some pretty good virtual surround sound. It also matches perfectly with the main attraction, the Beast, my gaming PC. I call it Flood, and I got it custom made by the guys over at Main Gear to match the theme of the room. Now you probably wanna know what makes this a beast. Well, I've got an i7 6700K processor with 32 gigs of RAM sitting on an Asus Maximum Gene 8 motherboard, dual NVIDIA 1080s, since you know we need some power for those three X34s, and the CPU and GPU are liquid cooled with of course, a teal coolant. With this kind of PC, I'm able to push all of my games to max settings without skipping a beat. And a few little things to help tie it all together is an Alex drawer on the side, which holds some cool tech, some hexagon panels above the setup, and a Gundam on the side, because I'm a bit of a fanatic. But that about wraps it up for my little setup. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. And if you have any recommendations that you think would take this to the next level, I'm open to suggestions. But till next time, this is your average consumer. Peace. All right, guys, that'll do it for episode 69 of Room Tour Project. I hope you enjoyed. And a big shout out and thank you to Judner from Your Average Consumer for being on this episode today. Really means a lot to me, and I definitely appreciate it. I've been a fan for a while. I'm sure the audience on here was really digging that setup. So if you're not subscribed to his channel, I'll put that link in the description down below so you can check it out. As well as all the products you saw in this episode today. If you saw a cool mouse or a keyboard you want to buy and don't know what it is, I'll have all the tech links in the description down below. If you like this episode, definitely give it a big thumbs up to show your support. Feel free to follow me on Twitter, at RandomFrankP. And lastly, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Well, I'm RandomFrankP. Hope you enjoyed episode 69 of Room Tour Project. Have a good day.